Welcome back to another episode of the Coyote Car Channel. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to prep a windshield to get installed. Let's go. The first thing I suggest you have is a set of these saw horses. You can build them like I did here or you can go out and buy some. The professionals use saw horses that are made out of metal tubing and have rubber on the top so that way the glass doesn't break. But the way that I kind of ail that is I just take a comforter and I just drape it over the top like that. And that seems to be good. Also it's a good idea to leave sort of a, a dip in the middle so that way you can see where the edges are on your saw horses. And then carefully place your glass on top of it like that. The tools you're going to need are some razor blades, lint-free paper towels, and some window cleaner. Start things off by spraying down the surface completely, getting it nice and soaked, and then you're just going to do an initial clean on the entire surface. Now you don't want to put a whole lot of pressure while you're doing this onto the edges that are off like that. You don't want to take a chance of shattering this tempered glass. So you just want to do that, then turn your paper towel over and clean up the excess. Get the glass as clean as you can. Clean around the edges, all that rubber adhesive that you want to get off of there. Now this windshield shouldn't have any kind of adhesive on it because this is the kind that use weather stripping to install the windshield and it's held in by pressure, not by adhesive. So that looks pretty good, cleaned up like that. Now what we're going to have to do is go around the edges and get this excess adhesive that they had put on this window pretty much off the best we can. So a lot of this stuff will just peel right up. You want to try and get it to pull as far as it'll go. The stuff that won't come up is easy. Go ahead and Spray it down so you can lubricate your razor. Set that aside. Take your razor blade. It doesn't have to be on one of these tools, it just it's kind of nice. Gives you a little more leverage. And just start scraping it off. Try different directions. You can try using Goo Gone or something like that. The idea is that you want to get it as much of it off as you can, you know, don't kill yourself doing this, but, you know, you want it to look nice, you don't want there to be bubbles. And just keep working it out. As you can see there, I've taken off the ridge of it, so now it's just left to that little gummy stuff that's all left on there. So I'll keep scratching at it and hopefully get as much of it off as I can. The other part of this that's important is that you get this edge here. Because if they have adhesive on it, and the front edge as well, you want to get on this side too. And the way you'll do that is flip the glass over and then do the same thing that you were doing on this side. Once this side is completely good to go. And sometimes just using a fresh blade will make all the difference as to getting this stuff off of here. So I'm just getting the last little bit of this and I uh, found the best method is to change out your razors pretty often. Wet down the surface like that and then just slowly kind of work away at this gasket material. And it took me probably, I don't know, half hour. It didn't take very long to work all this stuff off but it is pretty tedious work. You want to get every little piece off. Just go ahead and spray off your surface. 
put enough on there. Remember, it's a cleaning product, not a misting product. Take yourself a lint-free paper towel. Grab one extra one and set it to the side. Go ahead and wipe down your surface. Kind of scrub it in there in circles just so you're working the cleaner into all the crevices and imperfections in the glass and getting out hopefully all of those dirt particles and everything else. Go ahead and fold your paper towel so you can start to wipe away the residue that's left over. And then when you have a fine residue left over, go ahead and grab your clean paper towel and wipe the excess completely off. And if you did this properly, you should have a clean surface when you're all left over and done. And then go ahead and repeat on the other side. Just spray it down again. There's one more thing that you could do, and that is to take a razor blade over this surface to get it even just that much more clean, and then uh, that would get it clear of all debris, um, but be careful not to scratch the surface. If you like what you saw, go ahead and tune in next week, and I will get some more videos out for you guys. Bye!